In the news, Nigeria recorded on Monday 573 new cases of the novel coronavirus, according to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. In a tweet via its official handle, the NCDC also stated that the nation recorded four additional deaths within the past 24 hours. The country's total infections have now risen to 6,658. Lagos recorded the highest number of cases with 216 new cases and Rivas was second with 103 new infections. Of the number confirmed, the NCDC stated that 5,349 persons have been discharged. And now, Dr. Tui Mebawundu, a public health practitioner, joins us to take a look at issues surrounding coronavirus. Good morning, Dr. Tui. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Now, what's your assessment as at today? Are we losing the fight or winning the fight? Obviously, government has given up the fight. The government has given up the fight. Because, let's look at it. We have been having rising cases, what are called geometrical rise in the number of COVID-19 infection. Now, government woke up and told us now that control of COVID-19 in Nigeria is an individual responsibility. Right. What this one means is that, you know, um, there's going to be end of enforcement. So the, 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 the head of government agreed that the case is rising. He said that as far as it's concerned, individuals should go and fight and ensure that they don't pick COVID-19. My question then is this. Can individual, uh, individual person ensure isolation? Okay. Can they impose restriction? Can they distribute palliative? Can they drive the health system? Okay. What science now directs this kind of instruction? What do we do to different states that are giving contradictory directives on control of the epidemic? If you look at us, as at the end of February, we had two cases. End of March, 350 cases. End of April, about 2,000 cases. By May, we were at 11,000 cases plus. How do you now use that to justify showing the response to individuals? So again, it's, it's a difficult situation. It's a very difficult situation we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. Dr. Sui, if you move around, um, it looks like life has returned to normal from the analysis you know, of a lay person. Now, analysis of flattening the curve seems defeated, just as you've tried to highlight, because it appears no measure is being taken to contain the spread uh, from the government. It also seems that the government has handed over the responsibility to individuals. How do we move forward from here? I mean, how do you hand over the control of this kind of pandemic to individuals? What do you expect them to do? Okay, now, the only thing possible for us is this. Individual, like you said, must then up his own prevention methodology. Okay? That is the only thing that I can do. I will repeat that we have to sincerely up our own prevention methodology. Because if you fall sick, there's no, go there's no government for there. If you need a solution, there's no government for you. You know, we should always ensure, government also know that good public health is, is not uh, an expense, it's an investment. No amount, no amount of money you spend on good public health. It is not an expense, it's an investment. So, you know, we cannot then start pushing this kind of what I would call passive response, mm -hmm. where individual now has to d decide how, whether it's going to be well or not to be well. It's a sad, it's a sad uh, reality on us. Now, the, the figures are not uh, getting better, uh, as we all can see. We are over 16,000. And uh, we are also about to lift the ban on interstate travel. From the news, we hear that Kaduna State you know, has lifted you know, every roadblock uh, they have in that state. Shouldn't we really rethink this action? That's what we're saying. 
the, my question is that what is the science behind such decision? Now, for instance, this idea of saying that individuals go and take charge should have come at the beginning. Okay, we should have pushed individuals at the beginning to understand what their role. Okay, now when you have flattened the curve, you, you, you then you can then instruct individuals to go and do the do the, the their own charge of the whole thing. Now, if um, Kaduna is doing this thing, opening up the state, Kaduna is saying that the, all the mosques can open, Lagos is still considering what to do. When the case rises to Kano, you cannot stop them from coming to Lagos. When it rises to Kaduna, you cannot stop them from coming to Lagos. So it's, it's a very challenging situation. The government cannot have the will again to impose restriction. No government will just be palliative as we are seeing it. The whole health system is tired. And then we are more than 60,000 and 420 dead. So um, we, what, what we can now do is to allow each state to fashion out its own critical control system. Mm -hmm. Which brings including, me Including restricting entrance into this, your own state. That is what we have now. So the same was now said that, listen, if you want to come to my state, no, you cannot come. But if you have to come, you have to quarantine yourself somewhere. So maybe that's what we have to do. But there's, that does not flow with the Constitution. The law will not allow that kind of thing to happen. So I don't know where we're going. So we just, probably the decision will just run through, this, through, through our uh, uh, country, and then we'll see the repercussion. Since it's now uh, everyone to himself and to herself, and God for us all, what are those measures that we should still continue to put in place? Because uh, it's important that we remind ourselves, just as it, it seems everyone has forgotten all the laid down rules. Is it still necessary that we keep to all those regulations? No, it's more than necessary now. If your precaution level is 50% before, Raise it to 90, 95% now. Because your hand washing, avoiding crowd, putting on your face, and uh, respiratory hygiene, those are key things you must not run, run away from. Mm -hmm. And then you have to eat well and raise your nutrition. Mm -hmm. You have to be close to a health system should you fall sick at any point in time. These are the doses that anybody can do. All right. Thank you so very much, Dr. Tui. We can only say we hope for the best and do our part. Keep safe out there, doctor.